These events are designed to show how the University of Exeter, working in collaboration with its partners across the world, is having an impact on many of the global challenges we face today. Our astrophysicists are working collaboratively with partners across the world on the search for a twin Earth. When we started the instrument, my, my professor, uh, Michel Mayor, decided that because we have to start this program, we have plenty of time. So he could, he could go away for a sabbatical for six months. So he went away and he gave me the key of the telescope. And he said, what is the start of the program? Of course, he takes years to find a planet. So he was really relaxed. What happened was a big surprise because after a couple of weeks of observation, <laughs> I found something very weird. <laughs> Uh, you can imagine being a PhD, being a student, PhD students close to complete his PhD. Um, <laughs> post question as well for me. So I didn't say, Michelle, that I found something because I thought I made a bug, I had a mistake somewhere because it wasn't possible. So for a couple of months, I've been working to demonstrate to myself I was wrong. And after a couple of months of five, re observing the object, it was pretty obvious that it had to be a planet for my eyes. But I remember sending. Uh, uh, four months after the first point, his famous fax to Michel saying, Michel, I think I found a planet. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where you see how science is nice. And the answer of Michel was fantastic because he said, Oh, yes, maybe. <laughs> this is great because the problem of that planet is there. So all the theory is wrong, all what you expect is wrong. You see the mental openness that you should have in science to accept this. So it took us a bit of more time to work on the data, and it took us a couple of years to convince our colleagues that it was, it was right. But at the end, uh, that was it. Uh, no, the situation is, it has completely changed. If I take the same diagram and I put all the planets that we know in the past, this is where we stand. The problem is that we have discovered Planets which have the size of the Earth, but around stars which are not exactly like our Sun. But for now, we have not discovered any Earth twin. And this is the very purpose and very motivation of the Terra Hunting experiment, which is an international collaboration which has been initiated by the DKLO in Cambridge, and where the University of Exeter is investing one million of pounds. We have also Uppsala involved with Professor Nikolai Piskunov and other collaborators uh, in this uh, experiment, this fascinating experiment. The goal is to build an instrument which will be 100% dedicated to the search of those type of planets of Earth twin. And this will typically, we are starting to work on it. Hopefully, experiment will start in 2018. And during 10 years, we are going to try to find those targets. This research came from the area of uh, science fiction to, uh, to real research. We actually know what steps and what technique we should do uh, and use to uh, reach our goals. It didn't go the same way, or did it didn't go the same way as Americans did. And they believed in the way that they planned and designed. And they were successful because they believed in it and because they, they, they didn't get distracted. They, they thought, okay, that's how we're gonna do it, and I will see who is right, and they were right. I think uh, that brought this whole field uh, in, in, in the front of uh, the international research in astrophysics. I think in general, uh, natural sciences, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased to tell you that the University of Exeter is in the front line of the runners uh, for trying to figure out if there is habitable worlds uh, out there.